India is growing at a rapid pace. Its growth trajectory embodies its aspirations for industrialization, urbanization and socio-economic advancement. And the cornerstone of all these is the steel industry of the nation. As the backbone of infrastructure projects including transportation, construction and power generation, steel plays a pivotal role in modernizing the country's urban and rural landscapes. In recent years, India's steel production has been consistently increasing with advancement in technology and favorable government policies. Today, India is the second largest steel producer globally. And to sustain this growth, one of Japan's foremost technology companies, Fuji Electric, is paving the way for a more efficient and sustainable workflow through innovation and technologically advanced machinery. Putting forth its acquired knowledge over a century of its existence and its familiarity of Indian industry through its years of operation here, Fuji Electric has given easy-to-use interface and hardware, especially for Indian steel industry, which is now enabling the stable and rapid supply of quality steel production. Hello and welcome. We are in the heart of Uttar Pradesh. This is Gorakhpur and one of its industrial areas and I'm in the middle of a steel mill, a company, Ankurudyog, that manufactures the longs for steel. Typically, these are volume products. And the reason we are here is to understand how a company of this kind, someone that makes long products in steel, is being helped by technology and their business is being driven by the efficiencies being brought about by Fuji Electric. So let's talk today to both Ankur Udyog and Fuji Electric and understand how they're working and what they're making to scale up India's steel production. So thank you so much for taking out the time to speak to us. Yeah, Konnichiwa. Same to you. Konnichiwa. Namaste. Namaste. So wonderful to see you. How was the trip uh, to all the way to Gorakhpur? All fine. It's it's good, and uh, I like Gorak food also. Oh wow! Yeah, that's also. wonderful. Yes, yes. That's yes. wonderful. A big picture for Fuji Electric. It's been around in India for many, many, many years. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes. So actually, we have the more than thirty years experience in the, this uh, uh, Indian business market, and uh, Fuji Electric itself has a uh, hundred years uh, uh, old companies. And now, so Fuji Electric is very uh, interesting in about the uh, so growth of the Indian market. So we have to uh, save something, we have to contribute something with our Japanese technology. So as I understand, yes. that technology helps a company like yes. Ankur Udyo, which yes. makes long steel products. Yeah. So you bring in more efficiency into their operations. How do you do it? Yes, so Fuji Electric has a, a good share in the Japanese domestic, domestic uh, market uh, regarding this uh, uh, long product steel making. So, uh, and also we have the uh, long term of the experience. So that is why, so we can uh, provide a good uh, uh, functions, uh, which is suitable for uh, this plant also. So how does it make a difference to the operations at uh, Ankur Udyo. Give us a sense of that. Uh, we struggled with about uh, some uh, difference of the culture, India and Japanese also. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we spent the time uh, with Ankur Udyo team to understand each other, so which point uh, we should focus and which point is uh, important to achieve. So after those uh, conversations and the discussions, uh, we recognize which part uh, should be uh, taken and we apply. Especially this meal uh, design, this plan is uh, a new design and uh, designed by Indian uh, mechanical manufacturer and uh, installed by our technologies, Japanese technologies, to achieve the high speed and the uh, high uh, precise uh, production quality. So one of the other factors, as I understand, as I read about it, is the minimizing of wastage that you talk about. Yes. That is very important to raise the bar for efficiency, yes. as well as cut down the cost. Sure. So for achieving this point, so control system 
have to maintain the uh, motor speed and the machine's position uh, precisely. So our controller is uh, possible to manage uh, those uh, positioning and the speed controls uh, with high accuracy, with high speed controls. Those, uh, we have the confidence about those uh, devices, control systems, and also we have the technology from Japan. Since you're speaking about the technology from Japan, yes. a lot of the manufacturing companies look at achieving some of the excellence yes. that comes with Japanese technologies. Yes. How does it help in steel industry? In the steel industry, uh, to make the proper production, we have to manage the speed and tension. So those are uh, required some uh, phys uh, physics or mathematics uh, knowledge also. So since I am here as a programmer also, as an engineer also, and uh, I have the, we have the so Fuji electric uh, uh, product. So our strong point is that so we can uh, provide the so maximum performance of those controller with our precise uh, experience and knowledge. So those are coming from Japanese. Fuji Electric has experience across different markets in the world. How does that experience help you in driving the operations or making it more efficient for Ankur Odeo? Yes, so Fuji Electric has a, a good experience in the global. And also uh, here uh, we apply the same platform of the control system and control theory to achieve the, those uh, requirements. So this is a thing, so we achieve the good uh, place for them. What is the potential you see for India's steel industry? And second part of that question is, Fuji Electric's role in helping the industry grow? Yes, so firstly, so we are very interested in the growth of this uh, Indian uh, steel industry. Because the uh, uh, ratio of the uh, growth, this is very high. And the uh, demand of the steel, this is also very high. Uh, that is why so new factory is coming and established. And also, we have to uh, see the long-term vision. Means that now, so due to the uh, higher demand, so product is required. But uh, uh, if we think about the long term, we have to consider the so power consumption and the, uh, saving the environment. So those two matter, Fuji Electric uh, should have the responsibility uh, to provide a proper system for making the uh, proper uh, stable productions. And also our system uh, should be available for the expansion for uh, power saving. So, Already, uh, Fuji Electric has uh, experience in global, also Japan. So uh, we are, since we are using the same platform, so I'm sure so this system is available for Indian market also. Okay, one more important point about sustainability in the steel industry. What are some of those solutions that can come from Fuji Electric that will help these companies and companies like these to scale up and move up? Since uh, Japanese uh, steel industry require the so uh, high uh, how should I say optimized system to utilize the uh, energy fully. So regarding this part, Fuji Electric has uh, uh, good solutions. So which is called energy management system. So this uh, system uh, is calculating how much uh, how much uh, gas is there. Uh, which we can utilize another uh, energy. And uh, how much uh, system should work uh, according to the so measured values. So after getting the, those uh, process values, our system calculate uh, optimized uh, uh, control uh, data. And those are given to the each actuator, like uh, bulbs, uh, like motors, like this. Okay. So, you're suggesting that the best of Japan with the ingenious ideas from India can work together? We know the India also. And uh, myself, I'm staying in India five years, five years. 
So as an engineer, so I know the jugard. Okay. And also uh, I know the so good point of jugard mm -hmm. and some point of jugard. So that this is uh, our focusing the short term. But uh, since I'm Japanese, I know the Kaizen. So Kaizen also some activity to improve the uh, some quality or something. This Kaizen, uh, princ uh, Kaizen principle is required long term. So now Fuji Electric has a uh, uh, Jugard as a short term. And long term, we have the Kaizen based on our Japanese technology. So this uh, DNA is uh, obviously available in India with us. So I think we can uh, contribute uh, in this in this industrial field, not only the steel industry. So I'm also very keen on looking as we get into the plant, looking at the panel that Fuji has put up and trying to understand from you how that works and what that does. Yeah, let us go. So I will explain. Okay, so let's go. This is our main PLC controller, Fuji PLC controller Micro X series. And uh, all uh, machine and all motor are controlled by this uh, small controller. But uh, all our experience algorithms, those are included here. Mm -hmm. And also uh, our AC drive, Phrenic series, is connected with uh, these cables. So I can show there also. Mm. But if I may say, with this technology and the manufacturing, can you say chinta nahi? No worries. Since uh, all Fuji's technology are uh, included here, so that's why chinta nahi, no problem. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So we can go and uh, have a look inside what the whole detailing looks like. While this is the small part of it, there would be the bigger part, each machine connected, something like that? Yes, yes. Let's see. Let's sure. go. Sure. This is our uh, Fuji Electric uh, Phrenic series. So this plan, so we are providing the modern uh, 30 set so for here. And, and this picks up signals and data from each component of the manufacturing. Sure. So I show uh, that uh, uh, small controller, that is a main CPU, mm -hmm. and all signals are coming from there and through these cables. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, our main controller is uh, controlling uh, those four frenics. Mm -hmm. And uh, so each frenics are managing the speed of the motor, uh, current of the motor, so with a uh, high frequency, a uh, high accuracy. And that is why the efficiency that we spoke about. Sure. Mm -hmm. And similarly, like this, there are many of them. Yes. So uh, each are connected with each machine and uh, all are controlled by a uh, Fuji Electrics controller, Microx. So you can see uh, now here, so more than 20 uh, frames are installed. And uh, uh, this is also Fuji product. Uh, that controller also Fuji product. And I'm Fuji Electric person. So they talk, these yes. machines talk to each other? Yes, yes, yes. So we can say uh, component is very strong and the system also very strong. This is our advantage. So while this, I have liked the line that you've used. With the Fuji technology, Fuji electric technology, chinta nahi, or no worries. So while we've understood what Fuji technology is doing, let's go across and meet Jalan Saab, who runs the plant, who manages the plant on a day-to-day -day basis and understand from him what his challenges are. Nikhil Jalan is here who runs the company on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's ask him. Nikhil, thank you so much for joining us. Give us a sense of what technology is meant for your operations and how soon have you been able to begin operations? Uh, while setting up this plant, the most challenging aspect was getting the plant up and running at the earliest possible time. And uh, because the integrated steel plant consists of many divisions, there are uh, multiple uh, units which are to be synchronized with each other. 
and uh, automation plays a very important part. So in our steel manufacturing unit, which is the rolling mill, which uh, produces reinforcement uh, bars for the uh, construction material, we have opted for Fiji Electrics as our automation partner. They have supplied the hardware as well as the technology software. Although in India, when we uh, were commencing our project, Fuji Electrics did not have uh, many uh, multiple uh, presence till then. However, uh, their scheme of things and uh, the benefits which were told to us seem pe uh, pretty attractive to us. Plus, they guaranteed that it will optimize the efficiency of the plant and uh, we will be able to reach the rated production capacities uh, quite soon. So, trusting on their uh, confidence and uh, their uh, explanation of the technology, we went ahead with them. And I am very happy to say that uh, our rolling mill plant got stabilized and reached its rated capacity within 15 days of commencement. Whereas, there has been an industry norm that a rolling mill takes 4 to 6 months to stabilize and reach its rated capacity. So I think this stabilization and reaching the rated capacity so early, this credit definitely goes to Fuji Electric and their team. And because of their innovation, uh, this stabilization could happen so fast. So give us a sense of wastage is an important part. Give us a sense what it has meant during your operations over the last one year or so. Uh, we are running the uh, PMT production at a very high speed. In fact, uh, the production speed is 30 meters per second, which equals to more than 200 kilometers an hour. So to manage and handle the hot running steel at those high speeds, you need perfect precision of automation. Because the bars are to be kept, the width and the weight of the bar is to be maintained consistently. And all the devices and equipment installed in the process, they have to run in a synchronization in tandem. So, the, uh, all the hardwares operate by the command of the software and that software has been provided by Fuji Electric and uh, it is a matter of milliseconds that a delay of a millisecond can lead to misrolls which will lead to breakdowns which will lead to more uh, energy wastage. So, uh, I can confidently say that uh, because of the latest automation provided by Fuji, the plant is running at a very high efficiency rate that is not only saving us cost that is saving us energy, that is saving us uh, downtime, and also uh, wastages are being uh, saved in the, in the steel production. So, you spoke about the technology part of it and the impact it has had. As Ankur Udyog grows, what could it mean for the people of the company and how could technology impact their skilling, their working? At the app given by them, I can see what is the performance parameters of each and every machine going on, at what speed, if there was a fault or a breakdown, when was it, what was the reason for it, what were the running temperatures, what were the running speeds. So, there are so many data. So, because of those data, by analyzing those data, troubleshooting has become very easy. Plus, a check on the performance has become very easy and uh, regular improvement has become possible. So, the manpower who is running the plant, they also now know that what was the reason for any kind of deviation from the standard. And there is a consistent uh, upgradation and uh, improvement scope because of the data available through this digital transformation. Tokiwa san mentioned through the day about the Indo-Japanese partnership. In the Indian context, it's about the Jugaad, a very short-term approach to solving a challenge or a problem that business faces. And the long term, the Japanese approach, the Kaizen, excellence in their manufacturing activities and processes. How do you see the partnership between an Indian entity and a Japanese entity? I'm happy to say that uh, Mr. Tokiwa, who was uh, here in the entire commissioning of the plant, and he was uh, stationed in the plant for almost two months, where he personally look after the commissioning as well as stabilization of the plant close commissioning. And uh, the good thing was that because this technology was new, so there were not many skilled people readily available who were very well versed with this process. So Fuji Electric representatives were very helpful in training our people. Even till date, if there is uh, any input required from their end, they are readily available 24-7. 
and Mr. Tokiwa is always uh, ready to help even in the nights because this is a 24 hour running plan. So on a WhatsApp message, uh, he responds, he takes our system online to his laptop and sometimes also do the troubleshooting if required. So the combination of Indian and Japanese, he understands what skills to expect from our people and he is ready to teach them, train them so that there is a uh, smooth uh, operation going on. In terms of the technology experience for Ankur Udyog over the last 12 months, what could it mean for scaling up, you know, given the technology that you've experienced and the opportunities that you see ahead? When we were setting up this plant, uh, we were being advised to set up an even higher speed capacity mill. So we were a bit reluctant that going on such higher speeds, which have not been seen before by Indian machinery, will it be possible or not? But now, having achieved 30 meters per second speed because of Fuji's automation system, the next expansion would definitely be for our next level benchmark. And even uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be confident to try the latest, latest automations and innovations which they have to offer. So in this plant, scaling up the production, doubling up the production uh, would be the next step to go. Uh, during the project design concept, Already provisions have been made to scale up the production in the future. Thank you so much, Nikhil, for taking out the time. So that's the conversation for the steel industry, the long steel products that we are specifically talking about. It's a very important component for India's steel industry because it takes manufacturing very deep into the country. And we are in Gorakhpur in eastern Uttar Pradesh, by no means a an industrial location. If such smaller units were to thrive and grow, ultimately, India's steel industry will go to greater heights. Thank you so much for watching.